This Grade 2 listed church is located in the Diocese of London, in the area of Stepney, at the junction of Burlet Road and St Paul's Way. After the destruction of the war, a lot of rebuilding work was undertaken across London. The church, built between 1958 and 1960, has played and continues to play a vital role in the lives of local residents, providing regular Sunday services for its Christian community, and in recent years providing a space for the growing Muslim population to conduct their marriage ceremonies. From a congressional standpoint, the church responds to the liturgical movement for concern for more participation from the parish, the liturgical movement being the idea of making worship more expressive for the individual. While still a beacon for the Christian faith, in an area of constant change, development and growth, the church fulfills a vital role for many local people of different faiths and maintains its relevance in today's Bow Common. The post-war boom of the 50s and 60s gave rise to some of the greatest, tallest, unique buildings ever seen in Great Britain before this time. St Paul's, Bow Common itself is a breathtaking break from conventional church building. Paving the way for a modernist shift in English church design were architects Robert McGuire and Keith Murray, who along with the then parish priest Father Gresham Kirkby, set about replacing the damaged church with a far more radical design. Asking, what will Christian worship be like in the year 2000? And how do we build a church to reflect this? Father Kirkby, Maguire and Murray set out about replacing the ruined church of Bowcommon. With austerity still limiting the use of certain goods in Britain after the war, the trio aimed to combine the industrial materials fully at their disposal with the principles for a modernist church. They aimed to draw upon aspects from early Christian churches that Kirkby felt engaged the parish far better than the more familiar church layout of a cross with its navel, chancel, and elongated layout that can separate parts of the congregation from the ceremony or service taking place at the altar. They focused on a few key ideals closely associated with the Christian faith, the ideas of light and dark, and the idea that the progression to a life of Christianity is a path, as well as taking aspects of traditional church design and adapting them to the theme of an engaged, inclusive congression. A traditional altar has three steps leading up to it, which for symbolic reasons are uneven, so it can sometimes be five or seven. At St Paul's, in keeping with the idea of an included parish, there are still three steps leading up to the altar, but the third, or bottom step, is in fact the church floor. The majority of the light comes through the skylight, but Maguire and Murray also designed in some windows into the side walls which, when viewed from inside, glow with natural light and give the impression of a floating ceiling. After visiting the church and experiencing the space itself, you can experience the liturgical movements, aims and understand how Father Grisham Kirkby felt this would bring the local Christian community together. St Paul's Bow Common was a truly unique church for its time.